Hi, I'm Robert Simpson. I work at the University of Oxford as part of the Zooniverse. We're a platform for lots of citizen science projects, actually. Um, and I thought it'd be interesting to talk about the ways that people get involved. There's lots of reasons to take part in the various projects. We have astronomy projects, climate projects, medical projects, and they all sort of come with their own reason to participate. We, we found that the main reason people to participate, the most common reason that people participate, is to contribute to something, to contribute to research and to science. And that's really driven us, actually, in, in defining and promoting our projects. But there are lots of really cool other ways that people get involved. So, for example, most obviously for us is our astronomy projects. We have lots and lots of those. And so if you're in love with the stars, for example, you should certainly try out Galaxy Zoo and Planet Hunters, because those are projects that let you take that inside from the cold and the rain and to try something uh, a bit more a bit more warm with a cup of tea maybe and discover some planets from your sofa uh, but similarly we have projects like old weather old weather is a climate science project where people are uh, looking through handwritten ship's logs from more than 100 years ago now and the idea is that you you are supposed to extract the numbers from us to help us reconstruct the climate and people do that very well but it's interesting that some of the people that participate in that, for example, uh, are, are, say, retired school teachers who are very good at reading this handwriting that is quite hard to read for a lot of younger people, although you can get used to it. Um, but also, if you're into family history, uh, you can find people, your relatives, in these pages. And that's one of the reasons to do the project. It isn't just a citizen science project, it's citizen history as well. Similarly, uh, there's one called Operation War Diary, going through handwritten logs of soldiers from the First World War, and, and much the same stuff applies there. There's also a cancer-based project called Cell Slider, in which we get people to look through anonymized medical research data. And that just strikes a chord with a lot of people. It's about speeding up cancer research by identifying common traits and patterns in, in the cell shapes and colors in, in the slides that we show. So there's, there's this huge variety of projects available uh, at zooniverse.org. Uh, you can try any of them out, and you might have lots of different reasons to participate. Um, one last one that I'll leave you with it is uh, a special case of discoveries that have been made in our projects by people who just came along and participated on our forums. They've discovered entirely new objects in the universe, different types of galaxies. They've, they've managed to reconstruct the Spanish flu in data from old weather. Uh, they've done all sorts of things that we didn't ask them to do. So the other motivation for taking part is to discover an entirely new thing, an exciting uh, thing in the universe that you'll see in our data and that you'll help scientists say, wow, I didn't even know that we were looking for that. And that's a kind of serendipitous accidental discovery that citizen science can provide by connecting with people that computers could never achieve. And hopefully that's a big part of what Zooniverse is about.